congratulations on that win tonight. That's Thanks, a Jim. big win for you guys. Yep, the Bengals are much improved. Proud of our guys. Uh, I think it was a huge maturity moment for us. Uh, we talked all week uh, or in a short week about trying to make Portland State play at our pace. Um, they led the big sky in scoring a year ago, and our guys held them to 57 points tonight. Couldn't be happier. That's awesome. Uh, in your mind, besides playing really tough defense, and, and we talked in the pregame show that they – are not a very good shooting team and they only shot 34 percent from the floor tonight 19 of 56 but what were the other keys that you saw in in the contest tonight well they're a very i haven't seen the final stats but they're a very good rebounding team i know for most of the game uh we were up or even uh in that area so that was a you big win thing. you win that battle ryan 36 to 29 that's huge for us, Jerry, because we turned it over quite a bit more than they did because of all of their uh, pressure. So I think that was the biggest key. Um, and for us to come out with that kind of rebound margin against another elite rebounding team is pretty special. You mentioned the turnovers. You turned it over 17 times to just eight for them. And I believe they came into the game leading uh, the big sky in turnovers per game. But uh, that is huge because – they got 14 points off of turnovers. You only got seven. But to make that happen, um, and they had 13 second chance points off of rebounds, and you only had six. But uh, talk about your bench. 20 points tonight. Malik Porter coming in and eight points. And Emmett Taylor uh, was uh, dead eye tonight, four for four from outside the arc. Yeah, we needed a couple guys to step up. Uh, Emmett definitely did that today. Um, Liam Sorensen didn't play. He's out with an injury right now. Uh, we're not sure yet how severe that's going to be. Um, but because of it, uh, against a uh, uh, very good pressure basketball team, uh, down one of our primary ball handlers, we needed some guys to step up. Emmett did. Gideon Buzangu got in and provided some quality minutes. Uh, Zach Vicenton uh, was in there. Uh, got himself in foul trouble. Wish we could have used him more. If there's a bright side, he'll be plenty rested uh, for, the, for the back to back. So, yeah, we had a lot of guys step up. I think it was a total team effort tonight. Um, even the guys who didn't get in the game, I thought our energy on the bench was fantastic. Uh, obviously, in, a, in an arena with no fans. Now, I've got to bring up Braden Parker uh, had six turnovers tonight, but played 32 minutes, and and you used him in somewhat of a different role tonight with the pressure defense the Vikings had, you had him coming out top of the circle almost on every possession coming across midcourt. Yeah, uh, and that was by design. Um, Portland State's a pressure team. They got long athletic uh, defenders at the one through four, but their five man's about 6'10", 280. Um, it doesn't move as well. So we thought the one place we could always pass the ball to enter offense was to our five. So yeah, we used Braden as more of a facilitator than a scorer. Uh, against all the pressure he turned it over a lot but they came in different ways like they weren't all just passing or dribbling turnovers I think had some offensive fouls and stuff like that so I don't think it's as severe as the stat sheet shows you know uh, you talked about McCray he fouled out tonight we we did not bring him up in the pregame show at least I well yeah I think I did but as you said he's 6'10 and outweighs uh, Braden by about 20, 25 pounds. Coming into the game, he had fouled out of six of their nine games and now in seven of their 10 games. Did you have any design to attack him when he's in the post? Oh, yeah. Um, we thought that was a big part of it. Their team is a lot better when he's in the game at the offensive end. They got someone they can dump it into in the post all the time. So the more he was on the bench, the better off for us. Well, uh, your take on the final keys and I'll let you get on with everybody else. And now uh, what you need to improve on going into the game Saturday afternoon. You know what? Uh, I think we learned last week against Sac State, win or lose, we got to make some adjustments. Um, we got to turn it over less than what we did tonight. Uh, we know that the second time around probably even got to be 10 points better than what we were uh, today to be able to get away uh, with the win. So, we're excited to get to play again. We're excited also with a long week with Sunday, Monday games ahead of this to get a, a day with only practice tomorrow uh, to get prepared. Um, we're tired for sure, but 
we'll handle it the right way and get ready to go again on Saturday. My final question, how do you feel about being four and one on the road in the big sky? And now with five league wins already surpassing your total from last year. Yeah. And I keep saying it, Jerry, but I don't want everyone to be surprised by this. This is what our expectations were. Um, to be a great team, you got to be a great road team. Um, I, I hate the old cliche that when you go on the road, all you need to do is split. That's, that's not going to be us. We're trying to win every game, whether it's uh, home or on the road. We'd like to be a team that uh, can play the same way in either environment. Um, I always go back and look like in my former job at Point Loma, uh, my uh, last season there, we made a big deal about all the way to the national championship. And in that season, we were, we were undefeated in our road jerseys. So <laughs> We were, that team uh, was probably better on the road than what we were at home over the course of the season. Well, Ryan, congratulations on all of it. Congratulations to the entire team. And uh, we'll talk to you on Saturday before the game at one in the afternoon. Thanks, Jerry. Jordan, Jordan, do you have any questions for coach? Uh, just like two. Um, Ryan, you mentioned last week that uh, you were kind of hoping to rely on some guys but needed to see – um, their defense improve in practice. Was Emmett one of those guys who stepped up or was he just hitting shots in the, the minutes he had? I think all of them uh, stepped up in practice with defense a little bit. Emmett just got an opportunity because of his shooting to go into the game uh, today. Um, we need guys to improve in that area, uh, but we need our whole ent entire team to improve. But with it, we like where we're at. I mean, we just held a potent offensive team uh, in past history to 57 points. Yeah. The, uh, the last couple minutes, it seemed like you guys were just giving the, the ball to Tarek and letting him work, especially in the mid range. Uh, was that kind of the, the plan? Just, you know, trust, trust him, trust your senior, or, uh, was that, that just kind of something that happened within the game? So yesterday in practice today in shoot around, we put in a couple different things. Um, we thought if we could put McCray in ball screens, uh, how big he is, it would be hard to hit for him to give great help. Uh, we wanted Tarek to be in the ball, wanted him to be in the be the ball handler in those situations. Uh, so credit to our guys. Uh, we put in a couple of wrinkles in practice, and they were able to execute it late in the game. Got it. Uh, last thing, uh, you mentioned uh, not wanting to split road series and, and your great record at Point Loma. I, what what do you do on the road that that, I don't know, doesn't lend itself to – poor uh, at showings like uh, most teams around the country? You know what? I think we do a really good job of spacing things out during the day, uh, not letting there be any moments of uh, boredom or maybe just laying around in your hotel bed. Um, we do film sessions. We space out meals. Uh, we have study tables where we're doing homework, um, keeping everyone up and alert before we get to the point in the day where we got to start getting on the floor and, uh, to play basketball, whether it be practice or a game. Uh, and honestly, I think we have a really good group of guys. They like being around each other. Um, when you're in an airport, on a plane, in a bus, in a hotel, uh, you got to enjoy the people that you're around. And I think our group does. Awesome. Thanks so much, Ryan. Congrats. Yep. Thanks, guys.